Hey you, Jay here, and this is my roommate Ella. So I am an artist, and I'm gonna draw some conclusions, so to speak. Get it? Draw. But then you have a brain. You may draw your own. Please tell us. Maybe we'll all learn something. I'm so sick of the glorification of Ted Bundy. Media hyped him as a handsome genius. Handsome genius, my arse. He didn't look like Zac Efron, who I must admit is pretty hot. I never thought the weedy, inauthentic politician Bundy was attractive at the time of his trial, and I was ashamed of the girls who did. Politician, I say? Yes, he worked for a while with those law and order Republicans. He said he was a Republican because he didn't appreciate the anti-war protesters breaking the law. He didn't appreciate them breaking the law. What the? He was captured in freaking traffic stops. The only reason he was so prolific was that police jurisdictions were not as connected and cooperative as they are today. DNA was not a thing yet. It wouldn't last long now. But maybe I'm biased. I live in Tallahassee, Florida, where he bashed five sleeping co-eds with an oak log in one 15-minute rampage, killing two and permanently damaging the other three. Not satisfied? He went down the street and bludgeoned another girl in her home. Then he tried to abduct 14-year-old Leslie Parmenter, daughter of the Jacksonville Police Chief of Detectives. What a genius! Leslie's older brother Danny confronted him. What's going on here? Danny asked, no doubt balling up his fist as he approached Bundy. Bundy scarpered, because Bundy was a coward. Tragically, he did abduct, rape, and murder 12-year-old Kimberly Leach in Lake City. He dumped her in an abandoned pig pen, mentioned his name there, and they'll spit on the ground. The sheriff said he'd never cried in his adult life until he found the little body of Kimberly. Have you ever heard this? But he doesn't look like a serial killer. What does a serial killer look like? They look like everybody. But here's one who measures up to preconceptions. Otis Toole, born in Jacksonville, Florida. A nearsighted armadillo would cross the street if it saw Otis coming. Actually, I think all armadillos are nearsighted, judging by the body count on the roadways. But I digress. Ted Bundy had already killed dozens of young women, and no doubt tried to kill others, before he escaped jail in Colorado in 1977. He took a circuitous route to Florida, thinking it was far away from where he was wanted. That was a big mistake. He visited a college nightclub here, a happy hunting ground in the past, probably. He seemed to think his looks and charm would make any woman want him. Not so. Do you think their rejection enraged him? From an interview of a Tallahassee co-ed. Well, I was standing down on the dance floor and I was with some friends. I just happened to look up and I saw this man standing there. I noticed that he was an older man. My first reaction, you know, I didn't really know what he was doing there. He was older and he just looked out of place because it's all college guys that are there. You can tell, you know, I've never seen anyone older like that in there. He was just, he was just standing up with his arms folded and he was just looking over everybody on the dance floor. And then I'd say it was within five minutes after that, someone tapped on my shoulder and I turned around and it was him. He said, would you like to dance? I had a drink in my hand and, and I kind of motioned no. I said, that's okay, I have a drink. He was real polite and he said, well, I'll go ahead and take your drink and I'll take my drink too. And I'll set them on the table. So he set the drinks on the table. That's when I turned around to one of my friends that I was with and laughingly said, Anna, look at this guy I'm getting ready to dance with. He looks like an ex-con. End quote. He stuck out at the club full of 18-year-olds as a creepy old predator. He was 31. When a narrator says he grabbed a log outside the Tallahassee sorority house as a weapon, a Floridian would know that this is not some wispy pine bough, but a stack of oak logs for the fireplace. Oak is a hard, heavy wood. The log he used was likely about two feet long, four inches in diameter, and likely weighed about five pounds, twice the weight of a hammer. 
or an aluminum bat. But what that do to a pretty little sleeping head when swung furiously with both hands and all your might? Florida also has the death penalty, Bundy. You conceded dumbass. To hell with all that mushy yo, he had a bad childhood crap. For one thing, he didn't. Fry him. Fry him extra crispy. And fry him they did. In 1989, as he ran out of his many appeals to keep body and soul together, to keep his own perverted arse alive. Outside Rayford Prison, crowds gathered to celebrate with signs and fireworks. A cheer went up when he died. Do you feel pity for the condemned man? Please save some for his victims. Thanks for stopping by. Please hit those like share things that are down below there. And thank you for doing that. And remember, think responsibly and stay awesome.